In chapter 12 of The Unity of Philosophical Experience, Gilson notes that all metaphysical doctrines share one thing in common. They all agree on the need to find the first cause of all that is, the ultimate ground of all real and possible experience. Reasoning that any tendency of human nature that is confirmed by 25 centuries of experience is well established, Gilson articulates his second law. Man, by his very nature, is a metaphysical animal. That is, he is a being who speculates about the ultimate ground of reality. Then, borrowing some vocabulary from Kant, Josson observes that human reason contains a natural aptitude and a natural urge to transcend the limits of experience and to unify human knowledge with transcendental notions. This natural ambition leads Josson to his third law and a definition of metaphysics. Metaphysics is knowledge gathered by naturally transcendent reason in its search for first causes of what is given in sensible experience. Gilson then asks whether the repeated failures of metaphysics to attain its goal are due to metaphysics itself or to the errors of metaphysicians. He concludes that it's the latter, in light of his thesis of the previous 11 chapters, that using the methods of a particular science to try to answer philosophical questions always leads to failure. He sums this up in his fourth law. Because metaphysics aims at transcending all particular knowledge, the particular sciences are unable to answer metaphysical questions, and they're unable to judge the metaphysical answers to these questions. Gilson next considers Kant's possible objections to this view. That's all for now. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.